As my mommy told me, stay away from showbiz. You'll get all wrapped up in things. And I'll tell you, you're gonna get wrapped up in today's movie, which is The Man with Two Giant Brains. Check it out. Thanks for that introduction, Count. I am the man with two brains. I have a jello mold brain and my own brain in my noggin. It's full of craft ideas, yeah. And we're gonna take this jello mold from the dollar store and make our very own second brain. So let's hit the table and uh, start working on that brain. Here we go, here's the infamous brain mold. And uh, this is gonna be the basis of our project. I just picked this up at the dollar store, it was only a dollar. So I'll get it ready for uh, our craft. I'm gonna use my white glue, water, my spray water, and just TP and I'll start layering it into the brain mold. All right, spray it down with some water to get it to stick. Just kind of push it in, knuckle it in. Push it into those uh, crevices and details. All right, now I add some white glue to it. Water down white glue. Start adding more toilet paper. I want to fill this out. Just keep pushing it in. You want to pick up that nice detail of the brain mold. Just keep pushing that down. It's going to be really cool. Add some more TP. More water, more glue, and now I'm going to use some uh, paper towels. This will give it a nice uh, strength reinforcement, right? Just going to push that in, stick it to the TP, yeah, push down and get all those crevices, get all those brain folds there. Yeah. All right. Just so neat. All right. Got another piece, another uh, paper towel there. More water and white glue. Push it in. All right. Very cool. Now I'll just let this dry. Okay, now I want to have some tendrils or tentacles on the front of the brain. And I just kind of do these in my spare time. They're just TP and uh, toilet paper, uh, or TP and paper towels rolled up into tentacle shapes. I've done this in other videos. Check out my tentacle videos. And so I just have a, a tub of these and I'm going to use these in the project. Now I bought this floral foam at the dollar store. It's just a circular uh, disc and uh, has a hole in the center. Now to I want to do I want to make it like these old giant or these giant blocks of stone. So to do that I'm going to use this pie chart that I just printed offline. And that'll help me uh, kind of get the blocks roughly in the right position so I don't have to guesstimate. So cool. Uh, now this stuff is easy to work with, but it's very messy. Okay, it starts shredding very easily, and it's very fragile. It can it can uh, you know break up very easily. You can see I'm just using the, the tip of that sculpting tool to kind of roughen it up, make it look more like stone, kind of to redefine those edges there or those uh, uh, areas between the stone. Rough it up. You see that stuff starting to really shred off, right? But it's great to sculpt because it's so easy to sculpt. And we'll deal with the issue of it being, uh, you know, soft in a bit. All right, I'll clean that mess up. Uh, I'm going to use my brush and just kind of brush off those little particles. This does make a bit of a mess, like you can see. But it'll be worth it in the end. Add some more details with my sculpting tool. Pretty cool. All right, it's really looking like a, like a stone circle, right? Cool. You can see the uh, stuff all over my hands. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to use 50 water, 50 white glue, and start uh, soaking this. It'll help stabilize this piece because this stuff is really fragile. So it just it really soaks in because it's designed to soak up water for like floral applications, right? Now I'll just uh, use this old plastic. Uh, tub and let it dry. 
let it soak in and dry. A fan can really help speed that up. Now I've got my brain. My brain's dried. I pulled out of the mold. I've got the uh, stone circle. That's dry. And I've cut, the, slit the brain in three different parts, the back and the sides. And I kind of squished it so it would fit into the stone circle, right? Or the styrofoam circle, right now at least. So I'm going to secure those slits with uh, hot glue. Just make sure it's nice and secure. All right, cool. Now I'll remove the brain. I'm going to get rid of those ex that excess stuff there, right? Excess flash from when I molded it in the brain mold. You can see those three slits that I did up the brain. And uh, now I'm going to add some details. I got my tentacles and some shorter tentacles. I'm going to kind of have these like legs, right? And you'll see how I uh, assemble that in a sec. You can see how that just fits right into that stone circle there. Really cool. This is going to be so neat. All right, got my tentacles. So I'm gonna start adding those. And uh, you know, this is where the fun part can come in. You know, use your use your creativity. You know, any, any kind of configuration you want to do, you know, you do it. I'm kind of putting some bigger tentacles and then smaller tentacles for accents. But yeah, you you know, it's your project. You do how you want. I thought like a cluster of tentacles at the front would be neat. And I'm going to use these shorter, stubbier tentacles for like kind of like legs or short tentacles that hold it or pull it out of this hole. This, you know, ancient well of doom or whatever it is. Cool. All right, now that that uh, has dried up, I'm going to do uh, some more details on it. Uh, it's, it stabilized it. You know, the white glue stabilizes it. So it's not as messy to do the kind of cracks and stuff. So I'll kind of add those into it. Cool. Add some more white glue. And like I say, this just, and I'll suck right in, this just helps stabilize the piece. There we go, just paint it all in. Easy to do. Nice. Now I'll do the same with the brain, right? I'm just using white glue and a wet brush. And the inside too. That just hardens it up. All right, cool. Now I'm going to use these crows I got at the dollar store. And here's another view of it. They were just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And uh, I cut the back off and took the head off. And I'm going to cut the, uh, the uh, uh, ribs off, okay? Because I want to use the spine is what, I, what I'm after. So I'm cutting all the ribs off. I'm just using a wire cutter to make it easy. And I'm going to cut these pieces off the wings, okay, this, the top piece there. It's going to be like this kind of arm or digit thing that's coming out of this. And I'm going to trim it a little bit so it'll fit in the holes where the wings previously were. Cool. Make sure you get it so it fits. Just using my wire cutter. All right, nice. Now just glue that in with some uh, Goop or E6000. This stuff is great, works great on plastic. It's a great craft glue. There we go, nice. Get a nice little creepy configuration there. Aha. Now here's the spine with the uh, little di uh, limbs on it. I want to add the rest of the wing to the back of the spine, right? Uh, nice little creepy accent. So there's another view. So very cool. Nice. Another one. This is going to be so cool. All right, now I'm going to put a piece in the back of the brain. This will, this is where the spine is going to attach, and I want to, I want to secure it so it uh, will have something to, uh, you know, uh, secure to, actually. So when, you, when I put the spine on the back, it won't just rip the brain apart. Then I'm going to use this uh, cardboard strip and kind of just uh, reinforce the edge. All right, just go all the way around. I'm not really worried that much about the bottom because nobody's going to see it anyway, so doesn't have to be beautiful. All right. Put that little last little piece on, and that'll really help reinforce it. I'm also going to add some hot glue to it, and that'll help, uh, you know, extra reinforce it. And it kind of, almost like kind of plasticizes it. Do some on the strip itself. Just cover it up a little bit. Just extra reinforcement. Cool. Easy. Now I'll reinforce the back brace. Uh, for the spine when it comes into the brain. It doesn't pop off. 
All right, so here's the uh, stone circle, nice and dry. Now I'm going to reinforce it with white latex caulk, okay? This stuff will work great because uh, the glue kind of soaks in and stabilizes it. This will strengthen it. So just wet it a bit and then paint it on, and you'll get a nice, uh, strong coat on this, okay? And if you do this several times, the coat will be even stronger. It's kind of a trade-off between detail and strength, right? Nice. Now we'll let this dry up. Cool. Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to put the back, the spine in the back of the brain there. And there's a little nub where the head went on, and that's where I'm going to use to stick through the back of the brain. So let's go through that reinforcing plate I put in there, that cardboard plate. And I'll just hot glue it in. Stick it through the back, and then hot glue the nub that sticks through. Awesome. <laughs> it's looking so creepy. Okay, here's my uh, stone circle. It's uh, you know dried up. I'm going to add some more distressing. I wanted to add... It looks a little too nice to me, so I wanted to add some more distressing to it. So I'm just kind of bashing in the styrofoam and uh, getting some more detail. Now I'll paint some more caulking on there. So I just cover that up, reinforce it. So very cool. All right, now I'll do the same with the brain. And this will help uh, reinforce the brain. I'm going to put some on the spines too because I want it to look like I don't want it to look like just bone. I want it to be kind of covered up with flesh, right? I'm going to paint it the same color as the brain. Uh, now I'm doing some detail with the uh, caulking itself, just almost straight, putting it on with a brush, and I'm pulling it out. I'm, the reason I'm doing this is kind of I want to blend the elements into the brain itself, not that they're just pieces that were just glued on, right? I want it to look like it's growing out of the brain, so I'm kind of pulling away from the uh, caulking and uh, making it look that way. I'm going to add some to the uh, spine back here. Like I said, I want it to be kind of fleshy, not just bone. It's going to, you know, you can see the bone through it, but I want it to be a bit fleshy. Use a toothpick for some detail. Kind of like ideas like, kind of like little muscle tone or something, or, you know, muscles, exposed muscles or something weird. And uh, just blend that in. Get some nice uh, detail. Now I want to put kind of a big uh, thing up the uh, center of the brain, like a big uh, vein or something. I'm just kind of scooping that on there. And I'm going to use the toothpick to kind of blend it in. And you can see that nice detail I'm getting uh, popping out there. Really looking cool. I'll do the front there. Just drag that toothpick through the caulking. Nice. Awesome. Looking great. I can't wait to, to paint this thing. Okay, a little more detail on the uh, spine there. A little more caulking. And I'm just kind of using my toothpick, dragging it through. Nice. Very cool. All right, now I want to do some kind of uh, like claws on the end of the tentacles that are pulling it out of the hole. So I'm going to use these beads and put the... Uh, tongs through there, but the, the bigger tongs don't fit very well, so I'm going to use the smaller tongs. So I'm going to have to use several forks for this, right? Okay, now I'm going to cut the ends of those tentacles off and hot glue the uh, the uh, bead and the uh, the tong on the end there. And I'll just go all the way around do all of them, all five, and then I'll just blend it in. Okay, so it looks like a nice claw off that... Uh, <laughs> off that tentacle. I think it's really cool. Blend it in with the hot glue. Nice. So it doesn't just look like a bead. Right? You want to lose that bead into the tentacle. Very cool. Now we'll do the rest. Okay, now I'm going to paint the stone flat black. All right, and it's it's sealed, so that'll be that'll work fine. Then I'm gonna use flat white on the brain because I want the brain to glow. So I don't if I if I paint it with the black paint, I'm afraid the light won't go through it very easily. So I'm gonna use the white. Okay, so here's the stone. You can see it's very strong with the uh, applications we gave to it. And I'm gonna use my just uh, gray paint and just uh, kind of water down, paint it over the surface. So very cool. Just easy to do. All right, nice. So we'll just fill that in. Sweet. Okay, just cover it all up. Nice. 
All right, now I'm going to use a green and kind of stipple on here with my sponge. And I want to just, I want to make it not look like not just regular rock, but some kind of weird, unusual rock, right? So I'm using this green. So nice. Very cool effect. You see all that detail is really paying off that we put on the stone. All right, now I'm going to use a metallic black. And like I say, I'm going for an unusual stone, so I'm going to water it down quite a bit and then just paint it on there like a wash. So there we go. I don't want it to look just like regular stone. I want it to look like these giant, you know, ancient stones or something. Weird stones, ritual stones. Yeah. Now I'm going to use a uh, blue gray and kind of stipple that on the top for a highlight. And that'll finish up the stone. And I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, look at that. Get the nice different layers of color, you know, on there. Neat. Okay, now I'm going to use mulberry and I'm going to use a dark purple for the brain. Okay. So I've got the brain here. I'm going to wash it with the dark purple. And you can see I'm just covering it up. You want it on very wet. And you got to remember, too, that this will dry a little lighter than it's actually appearing right now, right? Okay, cool. So I'll finish that up, the purple. Now we're going to use the mulberry and uh, start doing some of the tips of the tentacles and, uh, you know, the middle of the body and around the bottom. And you can see the, diff the color difference there, really nice. I think it's a really nice detail there. So it's all just one color. And I'm just doing wet on wet technique, right? Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to do some more purple. Uh, a little bit darker into the uh, folds of the brain and that'll give uh, you know this is still wet and that'll just kind of give some mice uh, you know it'll it'll bring out the uh, folds in the brain actually so there we go sweet looking great wow so cool so cool we're gonna go back to our metallic black and I'm gonna paint these uh, claws on the end of the tentacles or tendrils uh, this black so pretty cool really wicked looking I like it all right now I'm gonna paint the brain this double gloss uh, give a nice uh, glossy slimy appearance so we'll paint that and then come back to the table and look at the whole thing before we go to the table I want to talk about why I painted the brain white and the reason is I want to use this pumpkin light inside of it so it'll flash these different it's LEDs it'll flash these different color lights and I think it'll be really cool so let's hit the table and I'll show you how that looks So here's a sucker in all its glory. Let's put Roderick down there for a scale. Look how giant this thing is. So cool. All right, uh, Roderick doesn't really like it over here, so <laughs> maybe we should move poor Roderick. Uh, thanks, Scotty. Uh, no problem, Roderick, no problem. All right, there's our brain. So let's take a closer look at this thing, right? Very cool. Look at all that detail. It just came out really nice. Uh, the brain texture just looks really awesome. I love the ring and just so cool. And the light shining through it just gives it that extra oomph, right? And uh, you can still even see it in the bright light, but it's a little better in the darker, in the dim light. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, look at all the, just the details. That spine on the back just gives a really creepy look. The claws coming off. Looks like it crawled out of this ancient hole. And so cool. I hope you guys like this project. I'm really proud of it. And I'll see you next time on The Craft. Well, if you enjoyed today's Creepy Craft Over Classic, wait till you see our next feature. It's called Frankie and Drac Pick Up Their Girlfriends at the Morgue. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>